Hi dudes, how are you all? I hope everybody is doing well. Today, let us see another one or it is letter. This letter is focused on one known case of, I mean, uh, one patient, diabetic patient with type 2 non-insulin dependent diabetes. And the registered nurse would like to write an official letter to a public health nurse to monitor her compliance on medication and exercise programs and diet control because she is in compliance on all these things. So, and her condition is, uh, since her condition is worsening, she just want to help her through the public health. So, this is the content of the letter. Let us see how to write a, an official um, OET letter so let us to a public the health address part. So, you can see the addresses and the date and addresses for July 2021. There is no comma in between. And the address you can just copy from your writing task. Miss um, Sheila Mansoura, Public Health Nurse 125, Kettenbury Road, Ringwood, Victoria 3134, Australia. Next, we will go to so the solution. Dear Miss Mansoura, so we have to write the surname, only the surname. And regarding the patient name, Miss Beverly, uh, Mrs. Beverly Williams. Age Next one is our important paragraph. This is the introduction paragraph or we can call it as like a purpose paragraph. So here we are going to write three sentences. The first one, the patient, we are introducing the patient and with the recent present medical condition. Second one is the requirement. Third one is the uh, discharge. Or status. So, how we can write? I am writing to refer Mrs. Beverly Williams who has type 2 non insulin dependent diabetes. Second one is the requirement. She requires health education regarding diabetic control measures. Third one is the discharge status. She is said to be transferred into your care today. Next paragraph is our present medical history. So, um, as I informed you in my earlier video, here you have to write like a story uh, from the starting and what is until now is happened for the patient. So, here we can write Mrs. Williams. So, hereafter you have to write only the patient's surnames. Mrs. Williams has had diabetes for the past 8 years for which she was prescribed with anti-diabetic tablets. But she is incompliant to diet control and physical exercises. So, this is the first scenario. Uh, Mrs. Williams already um, has diabetes for the past 8 years and already she is on anti-diabetic tablet. She is taking but it's like she is incompliant to the physical exercises and diet control. So, only with the medication her condition could not be managed. Thus, comma, her condition got worse and comma, in addition to her extra body weight, the body mass index became 32. So, the advice and education from an expert is essential for her to prevent possible post-diabetic complications. This may be the reason for her referral. So, here the patient is on regular medications and uh, but she is not compliant with the uh, physical exercises and the diet control. Um, so, her condition became start to worse. In addition, her body weight it started to increase and now the body mass index became 32. So, the registered nurse is thinking that hereafter, if you are not doing anything, her condition will become worse and more, much more, and there will be more chance to get the post-diabetic complications. So, she is requesting an education program from the public health uh, to uh, prevent such complications. So, in such um, uh, letters, uh, this is not mandatory to conclude in, within one sentence at the last this is like optional this may be the reason for her referral so if you think that your letter it is very small you can use this one or if you uh, need to summarize what all the things you wrote on that paragraph you can write because in case of one admitted patient admission already we start we'll start with uh, the patient was admitted with this is condition and we did the diagnostic evaluation and we did the management and uh, currently the patient is Something, something. If you don't like that, there is no need for this conclusion sentences. But here it's like a generally we are talking about a patient. So here if you conclude within this sentence, it will be uh, much uh, uh, pretty to see. So that is only the thing. That's the last sentence. This may be the reason for her uh, referral. Yes, so this is optional. Social history, medical history and surgical history paragraph. So here uh, regarding Mrs. Williams, she lives with her husband. She has hypertension and on regular medications and has family history of diabetes. That's 
solved given in the case note so nothing more here one thing you have to keep it in your mind um, presently if the patient have the problem has the problem means we have to write she has hypertension and or regular medication and some disease condition which ha already happened and now it's not there example patient underwent uh, appendectomy so in this case we can write she had appendectomy in this year like that and something maybe uh, example here in hypertension example in that case not whether if they gave the year they mentioned the year that it started from 2010 we can write she has had hypertension since 2010 uh, so if the date or the year is mentioned you can write has had uh, it's not if not mentioned you can write just has and if it is already passed now presently if no it is not there you can write just had Okay, so the past is had and the present is has and if it is continuing from this uh, specified year, you can mention has had. So here regarding this patient, Mrs. Williams lives with her husband. She has hypertension and on regular medications and has family history of diabetes. The last paragraph all. is the conclusion paragraph or recommendation paragraph. So this is the expansion of your um, requirement in the introduction. Example in the requirement, um, we wrote that, we wrote in the, you can see that in the um, introduction paragraph, we wrote the requirement. She requires health education regarding diabetic control measures. So this paragraph should be the expansion of this sentence. So this is the easy way to uh, make our letter correct so here we are going to write it would be appreciated so this is like connectives we can use it would be appreciated kindly please please note that kindly note that it is essential for her or him it is uh, uh, vital for him or her it is important for her uh, these all are the connectives we can use it in the recommendation paragraph so it is much pretty to see good uh, if you start with it would be appreciated if you could or kindly so this is the desirable connectives here we can start like this it would be appreciated if you could provide special attention to mrs williams since she is unaware about the consequences of diabetes kindly provide formal diabetic education program for her including dietary modifications please monitor her sugar level in blood and urine as well as rng vision assessment every two to three months in addition please note which is mandatory for her to attend suitable exercise program to reduce her body weight so these are the recommendation as per the case note so just we can start with it would be appreciated if you could provide so there's no comma nothing you can write like straight away and here one thing you have to keep it in your mind always you have to write according to the priority so as a nurse how we are giving the procedure to the patient in our department same way here in the case note the recommendations will be here and there it can be scattered manner so you have to pick up everything from everywhere and just you have to organize it before writing the recommendation paragraph it is it is better to um, note that when you are during your reading time when you are reading utilizing your uh, preparation time just when you are reading the recommendation when you are preparing your recommendation paragraph you can just put the numbers according to the priority example here the patient has uh, we can you have to give more importance for the especially to the uh, program I mean education program so first we have to mention the education program and second one it is for the monitoring her sugar level and the last one is the uh, like um, inspection vision assessment it may be every two to three three months so it is later on not like in origin wise and the last one is the um, exercise program so here we have arranged like uh, two things first one it is for the diabetic uh, control measures the next one is the uh, regarding the exercise so like that we divide into two so that's why the first uh, all sentences related to the um, diabetic control program monitoring everything and the last one is for the exercise but for any other case note if you see any post uh, operative patient you can see the first one should be the wound dressing second should be the medications third one should be the diet then physical therapy and last if there is any restrictions or any other additional information the last should be the follow-up or any advices so like this we have to prioritize all interventions just keep the numbers in your task card so that it will be easy while you are writing the case note i mean the answer sheet uh, there will not be any more confusions so always prioritize the things the recommendations and write it like a sequence so that the reader can understand very easily what you mean and after writing all uh, recommendation paragraphs just correlate with your introduction paragraph in the introduction paragraph what is your requirement double check whether it is expansion or no so 
you can make correction by yourself and another one more thing you can make correction for your uh, first paragraph that is a present medical history with your first introduction sentence just like double check whether it is expansion or no so you can make correction by yourself and another one more thing you can make correction for your uh, first paragraph that is a present medical history with your first introduction sentence just like example here i am writing to refer mrs beverly william who has type 2 non insulin dependent diabetes so this is the Mm, recent present medical condition you can see whether this is the whether you are expanding this sentence in the first second paragraph that is the present medical history because here you can see that in this um, present medical history we have written everything regarding regarding the diabetic and what she did what is her current problem and what is the thing we need everything it's written there related to diabetic so like this only how to present your uh, writing a uh, task there is a correlation always correlate your letter with your first paragraph so that you can find out whether your letter is correct or not i hope which okay. is clear for you so this is the format uh, for a letter uh, the letter for public health nurse so nothing but every letters are common but according to the writing task there will be something different but if you know the basic things to write a letter which will be easy for all the letters so try to write the letter in same way so that it will be i hope it will be very easy for you to crack your writing task thank you for watching bye Double check.